Actress Gail Storm, famous for her roles in television and film in the mid-20th century, left a lasting impression on audiences with her delightful performances. Her journey from a small-town girl to a beloved Hollywood star inspires many. Lesser-known stories about her interesting life keep coming up, revealing more about the person behind the screen. From her early challenges to her rise to fame, Gail Storm's tale is filled with amusing, surprising, and heartfelt moments that capture audiences' attention even today. Share your fond memories or personal experiences related to this classic actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Keep watching this video for more fascinating facts about Gail Storm. Gail Storm, a famous actress in Hollywood during her time, left a significant mark on the film industry. She became well-known primarily in the 1940s and 1950s, charming audiences with her talent. Storm's influence went beyond her acting. She played a vital role in shaping Hollywood during that time and afterward. Her role in Hollywood was varied. Not only did she act well on screen, but she also challenged typical gender roles of her era. Through her characters, she showed women as strong and capable, which was new in a time when such portrayals were rare. Moreover, her success opened doors for future actresses. She proved that women could play diverse roles, inspiring others to seek out different kinds of characters. Additionally, Storm's impact wasn't just in acting. She was also known for her charity work and advocacy, using her fame to raise awareness about important social issues. By using her popularity for good causes, she left a long-lasting influence that went beyond entertainment. In summary, Gail Storm's influence on the film industry during her time and afterward was significant. Through her performances, she challenged norms, inspired change, and opened doors for future actresses. Her role in Hollywood and society is still felt today. Actress Gail Storm held the honorary mayor position in Sherman Oaks, California, starting in January of 1953. Coincidentally, her co-star from My Little Margie, Charles Farrell, was serving his third term as mayor of Palm Springs during the same period. She served for two terms and was succeeded by Libres. All four of her children made appearances on either or both of her hit sitcoms. In April of 2022, on her 100th birthday, her name was prominently mentioned in National Born on This Day columns. Recognized for her work on television and in her community, she continues to inspire generations, reminding us of the impact one individual can have on the world around them. Her influence transcends time, shaping entertainment and civic engagement for years to come. Through her work on screen and dedication to public service, she remains an icon cherished by audiences old and new alike. This tribute honors her life and career, reminding us of the lasting effect of her journey. Actress Gail Storm actively took part in various events like the Memphis Film Festival, Cinecon, Friends of Old Time Radio, and the Mid-Atlantic Nostalgia Convention. She openly shared her personal struggles with alcoholism in her autobiography, I Ain't Down Yet, published in 1981. Hollywood's Walk of Fame honored her with three stars, one for radio at 60 when on 19 Hollywood BLVD, another for recording at 25 19 Vine Saint, and a third for TV at 1680 Vine Saint throughout her career. She stayed devoted to her work and made a lasting impression on the entertainment world. Actress Gail Storm was quite a presence on television in the 1950s and 1960s. She appeared on various TV programs during that time, including CBS's What's My Line, where she served as both a panelist and a mystery guest. In her role as My Little Margie in the TV show of the same name, which aired in 1952, she became known for a distinctive sound she made whenever her character encountered a dilemma. One of her notable ventures was starring in The Gale Storm Show, a sitcom that featured silent movie star Zasu Pitts. The show, which aired on both CBS and ABC, ran for 143 episodes between 1956 and 1960. Throughout her career, she left a lasting impression on television audiences with diverse roles and memorable performances, making her a recognizable figure in the entertainment industry. In 1955, Gail Storm inked a fresh recording deal with Dot Records. Not long after, she struck gold with a hit tune called I Hear You Knocking in late September and early October. Back in 1940, after clinching a contest win, Storm landed roles in various films for RKO Radio Pictures. Her debut flick was Tom Brown's School Days, where she starred alongside Jimmy Lidon and Freddie Bartholomew. Throughout this time, she kept busy with appearances in low-budget films. 
By 1941, she showcased her vocal talents in several Soundies short musical films designed for movie jukeboxes. Fast forward to 27, Storm sat down for an interview with author David C. Tucker. The interview was part of a book titled The Women Who Made Television Funny 10 Stars of 1950s Sitcoms, published by McFarland and Company. Actress Gail Storm found unexpected success in the music industry during the 1950s. Despite starting her career in musicals during the 1940s, it was in the mid-1950s when she became a recording star. Her rendition of Ned Miller's Dark Moon reached four on the Billboard charts in 1957, coincidentally competing with Bonnie Guitar's version, which peaked at six. In 1995, an album featuring her recordings from the mid to late 1950s under the Dot Music label was released, titled The Best of Gale Storm. During the 1970s, she openly discussed her struggles with alcoholism. She became known for her candid approach, even serving as a spokesperson for the Raleigh Hills Rehabilitation Clinic. Gail Storm named her daughter Susanna after her successful TV show. Growing up as the youngest among four siblings, Gail Storm, originally named Josephine, found comfort and purpose in her faith. Actively participating in the South Shores Baptist Church, she often expressed gratitude to God for her blessings. In Hollywood, Gail met her late husband, Lee Bonnell. He won the Gates of Hollywood radio contest, where she also emerged victorious in the female category. Lee later ran an insurance company in Encino, California, while they raised their four children together. Throughout her life, she remained devoted to her faith and family, finding happiness in both her personal and professional life. Her journey from modest beginnings to Hollywood success reflects perseverance and appreciation in the face of challenges. In November 1954, a 10-year-old girl named Linda Wood, living in Gallatin, Tennessee, watched a Sunday night television variety show called NBC's Colgate Comedy Hour. On the show, hosted by Gordon Macri, she saw Gail Storm, known for her role in My Little Margie, singing a popular song of the day. Linda's father, Randy Wood, who was president of Dot Records, found Gail Storm's performance intriguing and decided to sign her before the show ended. Her rendition of I Hear You Nulkin, a cover of a hit by Smiley Lewis, became a huge success, selling over a million copies. During school years at Albert Sidney Johnston Jr. High School and San Jacinto High School, Storm was active in the drama club, honing acting skills. At 17, two teachers encouraged her to participate in a contest on Gateway to Hollywood, aired from the CBS radio studios in Hollywood. The first prize was a one-year contract with a movie studio, Storm won the contest and was promptly given the stage name Gail Storm. Her performing partner and future husband, Lee Bonnell from South Bend, Indiana, adopted the name Terry Belmont. Her talent and determination propelled her from a small-town girl to a successful actress and singer, making a mark on the entertainment industry. Actress Gail Storm, known for her lively presence at fan conventions, gracefully interacted with admirers by signing autographs and sharing moments with them. Her popularity soared as she frequently appeared with Charles Farrell from the beloved My Little Margie series, creating memorable on-screen chemistry. Entering television in 1950, she made her debut on ABC's Hollywood premiere theater, showing her talents to a wider audience. It was on this show that her charm and acting skills captivated viewers, making her a notable figure in entertainment. In her personal life, Storm's family added another aspect to her identity. Her son, Philip Lee Bonnell, was born on March 19, 1943, in Los Angeles County, California. This important event brought her joy as she balanced motherhood with her career. Gail Storm's impact goes beyond acting, touching the lives of those who have experienced her work and presence. Her charisma on screen, combined with her genuine interactions with fans and family, has left a lasting impression. This look into the life and career of the acclaimed actress allows us to understand her contributions to entertainment, a story of talent, family, and connection that still resonates with audiences. It shows how individuals like her have shaped entertainment history, capturing the essence of a remarkable journey as 